Hi everyone and welcome to the second video of the Unity 3D Scripting API series. So in the first video we went over what API means and what the Unity, Unity 3D Scripting API is and what it does. Now when you're a newbie and you're, you know, you're a beginner learning Unity 3D, often what people do is they'll jump straight into C Sharp. I don't suggest that. Instead learn about the Scripting API and learn about the controls of the Unity 3D editor just before you jump straight into C Sharp because it can be a bit overwhelming. Okay, so now in this video, we're going to talk a bit about what a mono behavior is. And you'll see this word a lot in your scripts. Now, mono behavior is the base class from which every Unity script derives. So any Unity 3D script that you create will extend from the mono behavior class. Okay, so you might be thinking, that's fine. What's a class then? Now, when you make a new 3D script, the class name will be the same as the file name. And think of the class like a container for all your variables and functions grouped together to perform a certain task. For example, making the NPC uh, player walk, right? Now, all these variables and functions are grouped together in the class. And let's have a look at this. So in my Unity 3D editor, I'm going to right click, create a new C sharp script, and let's call this uh, cube controller. Okay, press enter. And now I'm going to double click and open this up in Visual Studio Code, which is a code editor. And um, go ahead and download this code editor if you're going to be working with Unity 3D. Okay, so out here you can see that the cube controller class has the same name as the script name. Okay, if you're going to change the script name, make sure that you change the class name. And if you change the class name, then change the script name. And here we can see that the public class cube controller, right, extends, this is what this colon means. It means extends from mono behavior class. Okay, so what is the mono behavior class responsible for? Well, the mono behavior class will execute events in a predetermined way or certain order. For example, the start method or the start event method is called right at the first frame of the game before the update method is called. An update method is called at every frame. Awake method is called when the script instance is being loaded. On destroy method is called when an object is destroyed. And on collision enter method is ca called when two colliders hit or touch e each other. And we'll do all these event methods in separate videos. If you want a full list, you can get it from Unity 3D, okay? So what, what is a method? Just a brief introduction. A method is a function that performs a specific task. So all these methods are performing specific functions. For example, whatever code is written inside the start method will execute at the first frame. So whatever first frame of the game. So whatever is written here, this code will execute when the start method is executed. So that's all for this video. And in the next video of uh, this uh, series, of we will discuss more of these event uh, methods, which are part of mono behavior. And that's all for now.